Hey guys, Wrangler here again to teach you about another tutorial in UDK. Uh, today we're going to do how to create an actor factory. Therefore you can get bots. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to open up my level here. This is just a test level, nothing special going on here. Hit play, and as you can see, there are other players joining my screen. Uh, they're on the same team as I am right now, so I can't shoot them, but we can change that later. So I want you to open up a new level. Doesn't matter what time it is. Afternoon, lighting, morning, night, doesn't matter. I'm going to do night because I like how it looks at night. And just for perspective reasons, so you can see the bots that are going to come down, I'm going to move my player start. Let's test it out here. I'm facing the wrong way, so let's fix that. We'll just rotate him around 180 degrees. And he is now facing the right way. Okay, so first thing you want to do, right click on the screen and go to add actor, add path node. And that will bring up this little apple here if you can see it. Um, it's the same way UDK does its uh, jump pads and whatnot. It goes through path nodes. And you want a couple of those. And so I'm going to duplicate it twice, once, twice. Eh, let's, let's do it another time. One more time. doesn't really matter how many times you want it. These are, these are your spawn points. So you have those selected. Let's go into Kismet. Right click inside Kismet. You want a new event level loaded. And you want a new action actor actor factory inside the active factory the first thing we're going to change is factory right now it says none open it up and we're going to change it to ut actor factory ai once that has changed you'll see that your options have changed on the screen inside properties you want to click on force deathmatch ai your controller class will be none. Your pawn class should be changed to UT pawn. You can give it a pawn name. Like if you do spawn name, it'll automatically spawn characters for you. Um, it'll just say like player one, two, three, four, and whatnot has killed this person. You can give them default inventory or you can add different items for their inventory. Jump boots. Link gun, rocket launcher, shock rifle, that, that's all up to you. Uh, for right now, just for the process of the tutorial, we're going to leave it at default inventory. Your team index is also important. Um, 255 here stands for none. There's also going to be zero for red and one for blue. And I'll tell you a little bit of those a little bit later. Um, spawn points, normal. Spawn count, since I have four different spawn areas, I should probably have four spawn counts. And check off spawn collision. If there's a, another bot that's in front of the apple, the spawn spot, the another bot's not going to spawn in front of it. So if one pops out, another one's not going to pop out until it leaves. So check off, check spawn collision, and it'll just keep spitting the guys out. Okay, after that... Make sure your, your apples are selected. You can just do control click and add all four, or how many you have. Right click inside Kismet and do new object vars using path node minus four, and then it has a whole bunch of dots. Or, yeah, periods afterwards. Because you're going to bring in all four. And just connect them to spawn point. After connecting those to spawn point, you can do your level loaded. And loaded invisible spawn actors. Now, I don't know if this really matters. I always do it because I'm so used to it. But make sure you change level loaded to zero. Um, so that's, uh, that's all you have to do so far in Kismet. Next thing you want to do is go to View, World Properties. And inside World Properties, we're going to type in Game. Default Game Type, you want a UT Deathmatch. That will set you up with a gun, 
and the HUD, the hell, all of that. Next, you want to change game tap game type for the in editor, plan editor, Pi. Change that to UT Team Game. Now, then I believe those are the only options you have to change. Let's build the level, which shouldn't take that long since it's a generic level. This is just make sure that all your lighting is correct and all your paths are correct since you have added path nodes. There we go. Um, negative zero distance to path node five. Yeah, I don't know where those are. Start. Look at that. We have we have bots. They're attacking each other because they're not on a team. So they automatically start killing each other. As you can see, he's gonna, yes, he's gonna attack me eventually. Um. I am on team red as my character is red so I told you about that earlier so if you want you can get all your actors all your bots that you import into the game on one team so go back to your actor factory and kismet and go to team index and like I said zero is red so you can make them all on your team because the player is neutrally or automatically zero so he's automatically red or you can change them all to blue by using a one so we change that close out of that play again and now they're all blue now they're all gonna run around and look for you and now you have enemies in your game nope. and they all have linked guns like I said you can change inventory for each one and whatnot and that's how you add enemies in your game I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hopefully it is useful, and I will see you guys later.